Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. This is a pick a card oracle reading for receiving self-love guidance. So pick your pile, one, two, three. I'll show you if you still hesitate. We have here a crystal yellow dragon for pile number one and a piece of cherry quartz. And we have all those Kali cards, but here we have this expression of Kali Kaladara. Pile number two, you have a dream, green dragon. Almost a dream. <laughs> we have some amethyst. Okay, for some of you might have been a clue. And we have Kali Mahamaya. Some mirror energy here. Number three, we have the Royal Deep and Gold Dragon with Dharma of Kali and a piece of raw citrine. All right, I will see you for your message. Hi, pile number one. Let's see what you have as far as self-love guidance. If you pick the Crystal Yellow Dragon, this speaks of your crown chakra illumination let me read this for you opens you to higher learning and wisdom it also expands your crown chakra for illumination and help you walk the higher spiritual path i love this for you pile number one especially with the guidance as well of the cherry quartz there is something about you being able to tap into some of the past experiences of your life, of this current life, and transmute it and transcend it. It's, it's making me vibrate to uh, my golden healer's uh, stone here, as if this, this color here is just merging together to create this alchemy. Let's see how Goddess Kali is helping through this process. It says, when hope is lost and a way forward cannot be sensed, Kali's love will find a way. If the path does not yet exist, then it shall be created. Ooh la la. If you cannot see or feel how you can move from where you are to where you want to be, Kali's wisdom and grace will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed. Wow, this is really a strong energy that's indicating that whatever is your current situation, for you to allow more love to come through you, okay? So that act of self-care, caring for yourself, bringing the energy, is going to help you transcend what you see as limiting right now, okay? So there's some limitation that we're transcending, <clears throat> especially I would say uh, in terms of self-talk okay there could have been some negative self-talk in the past and I want to before I do the cards I want to look if there's a position in your chart some of you you are you know subscribed to the astrology YouTube or Instagram um, option on my accounts so we do cover a little bit more astrology Let's see what we have. Okay, it could be something in your chart that is in the fourth house. So something that is about your spiritual home. Now it could also relate ultimately to an experience under the roof as a child, as a young adult or teen. There's this energy of Pisces. So that could be in your chart as far as Pisces under this energy. Now, Pisces, what I love about the zodiac archetype, it speaks of unifying. It speaks of putting it all together because you're completing the whole 12 zodiac uh, signs and wheel. So it is about bringing something into conclusion as far as a home situation. And you could also look at maybe the Mercury placement you have. This is about the master teaching of knowledge. There's definitely here something that's coming through for you as far as an ultimate truth or something specific about what has happened under uh, the roof or where you were raised that you may be still carrying. 
okay especially with the cherry quartz you're able to tap into um you know different past memories that can be um you know stored because cherry quartz can absorb but it stores releases and also regulates your life's energies it can promote a healthy balance and help you keep yourself centered and grounded so there's something also about rhythm some of you maybe if you've had experience uh trauma or any type of negative conditioning maybe feeling also the stress about being productive always in your life uh, it could be related to this time feeling like we're lacking time or we're um, going to miss out on something so that's what we have already just with this guidance let's get the wisdom of the oracle cards here as far as a self-love guidance Woo, we're flying <laughs> We are flying. Ooh, we are a leg up. When I receive this card, this is angels. Angels surrounding you, your spirit team surrounding you. There's, you might not see it, but it's there. There's a face. There's a face here. And the number 34 for me in the zodiac wheel, it, it uh, corresponds to an angle um, that speaks of your devotion, that speaks of you going into maybe a more com contemplative, maybe praying. You know, um, when you're praying, you're speaking to the universe, you're speaking to God. And when you're meditating, you're actually listening to God and the universe. So there is this um, balance right there that wants to come forward. I feel like I want to pull the cards um, first. So let's see that. There's some type of uh, mirror uh, effect. Let me put those stones a bit here. Up. All right. So we can still get those energies. Maybe angle it a little bit here. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have. We have... Ooh, round and round in the reverse. So there's definitely some type of karma, a uh, karmic wheel that we have to understand, okay? And <clears throat> time to go in reverse. Okay, so there's something here that shows as far as the opening of your crown, as far as your self-love, that we're repeating something. We're repeating something, but... This is more of your feminine energy that you're receiving here um, that is showing you that you are being helped. You're being helped by receiving the divine's energy. As far as your mental, your masculine aspect, you're not able to move from that situation because right now, we need to activate the feminine. We need to activate deeper your feminine archetype, okay? Let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, that's interesting because higher power came in the reverse. So those are very soft colors. I would say for you, pile number one, this is about gentleness. Remember how there was here a little bit of a higher productivity that really reminds me and I really want to put this in my you know in my videos in the description this very powerful um, you know videos that I put on my telegram so you'll have the link to my telegram that speaks of 11 oddly common childhood responses due to negative uh, conditioning abuse or whatever and there's some resonance about some of those patterns. And to me, it was something that really helped me move through a lot of things that made me feel that I wasn't really supported or heard by the universe. But I didn't realize that I had identified with a lot of things that were actually trauma response. This year was very clear, you know, until I even like dive deeper that I had people like envy some of, you know, my abilities and things that they were seeing on social media. It's like, oh, it comes so easy, as if it was coming so easy. But a lot of things that I felt that they were seeing and that they didn't know were actually my trauma response. They were 
habits of trauma response and it helped me move from them, you know, move away from having uh, to produce, to be, to show a certain image, conform, um, even though I had overcome a lot of those. But for you, I feel this is very resonant and relevant. You know, I usually link uh, some of those readings now with some of the reels I create. And this is connected to something about stopping the, the, the conditioning, especially for the feminine, the sacred feminine, the women in society that keep on feeling the pressure, but also the identity, their identity connected to what they're meant to be to the eyes of others. So there's definitely here some type of reflection for you to have. So if that's something that you want to dive deeper in, definitely go on my Telegram and watch this, okay? Let's see what else comes. Breathe in the reverse. Okay, we're not taking enough. That actually really connects to time almost feeling out of breath. I actually feel a little anxiety right now, just like tapping into this energy. So some of you, I feel that you may not even be aware that you're, <clears throat> that you're not breathing deep enough just because you've been in that space. Now realize one thing, when you inhale, that energy comes all from your root all the way from the back of your chakras all the way to your crown and then all the way to the tip of the nose that's yang energy okay so that covers all your back chakras your crown your third eye to the tip of the nose and then your feminine energy is through the excel in the front so all the way from the you know pretty much third eye bridge all the way down the throat, all the way down to the root. Okay, so this is the governing, the yang energy, the governing vessel in the front. Uh, this is the yin, this is conception vessel. So some of you, you have to realize that there's a need for a cleansing. Just having the awareness of that um, pattern of breathing can help you. I do have a yin yang frequency playlist that could be useful for you, pile number one definitely here um, this is what I feel and we have the Y in the upright okay all right I love this oh I get chills everywhere especially on my right side okay so it's as if like the masculine is being activated here okay I cannot move from the place that I'm at so some of you if you're like struggling always struggling to make ends meet with your money so you're getting by but it's almost like it always feels like an underlying struggle some of you it's about always feeling like you have to work more than others to get to a certain result you will find the reason why you're going to understand the reason why through this type of understanding through the breath remember also breathing you know when when you inhale, you're taking that, that, that breath of fresh air and then you're exhaling, you're releasing all the negative. There's something about the rebalancing of the karmic scale. So some of you, if you want to look at your birth chart, look at the Chiron placement. You can go on my karmic astrology, Wounded Healer, and rebalance that. I explain in the videos all my frequency videos they have instructions that can help you so some of you if, you if it is a deeper a deeper wound i don't know why but um taurus and gemini kind of flashed here maybe some of you you have that dynamic taurus or your chiron and taurus and gemini it doesn't have to be but i feel that there's a big um big energy here that needs to be mentioned now taurus is the archetype of the the divine light holder so it's important because if you have your chiron in taurus it is going to wound you in terms of being able to hold your light your aura so you might have that struggle with just holding your intentions holding your focus now if you have gemini that's the archetype of the transmuter 
Some of you, you might have a hard time transmuting some of the negative experiences, okay? So that's what we have as far as the cards. Do we have something else calling us? Do we? Yes, we do. We have that, that deck. Yes. The Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. Now, this deck is very interesting. I read the little story from this author and um, that channel, this goddess tarot. Um, and she interprets things very differently. So I will use the little booklet. But it's been very powerful for me as far as guidance. Uh, working with the shadows. Okay, working with the shadows. I've had this Kali reading um, that I had going on that's been very powerful. Some of you, that's something that wants, um, wants to be mentioned. Um, Kali was just, <laughs> like that energy just made, you know, lights flicker, some weird things happening on my screen, like bubbles and confettis and balloons appearing on Zoom meetings. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Okay, let's see what we have for you, pile number one. Okay, we have two cards and they're glued together. Glued. Like I've used it, now they're not. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, well we have the five of swords. Five of swords here. We're gonna see this um, Lindsay's interpretation, that's her name. And we have here the warrior of swords. It's in the reverse. Okay, we need to step up with the swords, mental patterns. Let's see what we have. Okay, that was reverse. We're going to leave it as is. Let's see what we have here for the swords. So first, the five. Now, five is all about alchemy, okay? Five is going to um, require of you and is going to create a little bit of chaos. So some of you, if you're watching this and it's been a little bit intense in your life, it's not surprising. It's because that's got to go. That's got to change. That's got to be purified. This is interesting. When I saw and I said that, it was 1551. 1551. It's going to be changed by your will your will and your empowerment okay um yeah on my screen that's that's where i saw the time okay five of swords a goddess stands amidst of a swampy landscape with one foot in the water and one foot on land she holds two swords by her heart and one by her side two others are dug into the earth behind her are cacti and a special cosmos surrounds her crown as a red flower and veil adorn her. With her feet in separate worlds, she is not grounded. Two sunken swords indicate that she may have finished some battle and stands here in its echoes. Ooh. Unfinished business, you see? Unfinished. The two swords by her heart act as this protection symbolizing what we can hold on to to feel secure. The cacti in the background indicates nourishment, but cautions delicate action so as not to get prickled. There are many parts of a cactus, the needles, the meat, the juice, and the flowers. What can we take away from hard experiences? I love this. Where is there healing? Where is their beauty? The cosmic halo around her head indicates that through struggle, we may ascend to a higher state of consciousness. Her stoic expression encourages you to face darkness heads on. Do not fear fear. Welcome it and allow yourself to let it go. This is also a card of ambition, of working towards a goal and unbridledly, with unbridledly in energy, unbridled energy. You may experience success, but at what cost? Do you remember what I said? Yes. Yes, working harder than it should. Okay, this is really cool because I am going to be launching this um, and it will probably, if you're watching this, it'll probably already be available on the channel, this Auric Health and Wealth album, okay, a series that I'm going to be releasing 
um, for the YouTube members, but one of the track, the most important, the first episode is going to be available for the collective for everyone. Okay, to get you started on rebalancing those scales, it is not a normal thing to feel like you should work harder. Okay, there's something that you need to figure out, and that's gonna come through. And again, for me to help you and support you further than this reading, I mention all the tools, and especially it comes from me through music. This is this is my personal gift. Okay. Uh, warrior of swords let's see what this goddess tells us because this warrior status is going to come but it was reversed so where are we headed a goddess bounds forward ready to take action a shooting star indicates fleeting trouble accompanied by a gazelle and hare their coterie moves ahead not letting anything stop them Work with nature and spirit guides to propel yourself forward. Now is the time for action. Seize your moment, take the leap, do not be afraid to go after what you want. You know what your goals are, so don't diminish them. Recognize the truth of what you want and go onward. If you are unable to connect to your goals, then take time to connect to your intuition to guide you in the right direction. Okay, so this is where we have this feminine energy that calls you within and wants you to dive deeper into your spirit uh, team, guidance, your higher self, your ancestors, because it's going to help you transcend some of the karmic cycles that you're repeating in pile number one. So that's what I have for you. That was very powerful. You are divinely protected, guided, but there is a need for you in order to really feel fully your beauty, your light, your magnificence, your love. You need to do this work for yourself. You need to pause and just really go through that process. Again, if you need any type of support, you have a lot of free tools and also, uh, you know, uh, personal guidance that is accessible to you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and share if that's needed for a friend of yours um, that always supports the channel to grow. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Hi, pile number two. This is your self-love guidance. So I love this. It starts with the green dragon that speaks of connected to nature. So your connecting and connection to nature can support you at this time. It helps you tune into the secrets of nature. I personally love to observe nature and realize consciously, that's what I tell myself when I look at the leaves, when I look at the details, that I'm witnessing sacred geometry divine sacred geometry before my eyes unfolding but it is subtle right it is a slow beautiful process of motion um it says as well receive answers and guiders and guidance from nature align with your divine essence some of you if you chose pile number two there's a special connection with nature that you have uh, I wouldn't be surprised that maybe you have some sixth house energy in your chart. Okay, uh, I felt called to, to share that, but there's, you know, pets uh, are usually in the sixth house. All this energy that is, uh, you know, more grounded, be of service, witnessing a little bit more of that beauty around us. Um, so some of you that might be connected to you having planets there, and if you're interested, um, to look at your chart, that could be something that is revealed to you at this time. Amethyst here is supporting us to bring more relaxation. It's about stress reduction. It's about spiritual growth and mental clarity that brings focus, but from a place of softness, gentleness, stress-free. Okay, let's see how... Kali can help us with this if you chose this pile uh, number two. <laughs> There's definitely a call to stop and smell the roses. I don't know what I did, but I pressed stop on the on the screen by mistake. Um, so that's how powerful Kali can be. 
Some of you, you've received some um, special Kali guidance. This is a reading that I've launched uh, while Kali is transiting uh, Libra for us. It's been very powerful. A lot of those type of incidents have been happening for people getting those readings. There's something about a reflection. I feel that it's like a reflection of something that is truer than what you're seeing, you know? As if like here, there's like this confusion. There's something that wants to come through, almost like the water. And the water is very like in, in, intuition, subconscious based. Yes, there is emotion, but what lies under is really what we want to dive into. So let's go and read this card. It says, when a situation becomes unnecessarily complicated, or confusing to your heart. Kali Mahamaya arises spontaneously as a protective bearer of universal truth. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ultimately, her revelations shall lead you beyond that which is deceptive or not right for you. This is your promise. She protects you from what is unworthy of your heart and seeks to constrain your spirit. Oh, wow. So there's definitely here. It's as if like I'm, re I'm feeling that the more you slow down, the more you pause, especially if people, interaction, the world feel, feels fast-paced, the more you'll be able to feel how your true self who truly respond and sometimes that's by just not responding at all and especially just more pause I feel for you pile number two it's as if there's there's maybe a belief system that you developed as far as what you were like an identity that was mistakenly associated with your nature maybe you thought you were super extrovert and really there's a part of you that became extrovert because you wanted friends or you didn't want to feel alone or you didn't want to be abandoned or you didn't want to be rejected there's this this whole it's almost like there's a discovery here of your true nature and by looking at the true nature of nature outside of you there's something that's going to call you to realize your true self. Let's see if we can get oops, some higher guidance for your um, chart. So some of you, you do get the subscription for astrology, either on Instagram or YouTube. So if you are keen on looking at your chart, we're going to look at what we have here. So you could have some influence here from your self node. Okay, so maybe this a past life, okay, a past life, but also to the point like a past ancestral wound that led to this association because it means that maybe you believe that you're like this, but maybe your parents were like this and your grandparents were like this and your great grandparents were like this. It feels like it's been, you're here to break that chain. We have here the sign of Taurus, so you might want to look at your chart if you have any Taurus. I did release a karmic astrology with the wounded healer. There is obviously all zodiac signs, so I'm feeling called to say like if you have your Chiron in Taurus, uh, that could be something that you want to rebalance. Again, that can be for everyone as far as their Chiron wound. This is something that is very dear to my heart to help you rebalance some of the karma chiron usually taps into past lives okay because this is something that is long lasting that we have been carrying and that we're here to uh really activate uh in the greatest ways because chiron is a healer chiron helps you become your own guru become your own you know soul medicine have harness to your psychic and healing abilities Yes, and you are being guided to um, to follow a new path. There's a there's a wisdom in you that's been dormant. This is nine. There's a wisdom 
in you that's been dormant that wants to be activated so maybe you also have a lot of ninth house energy it could be also Sagittarius again um, those are little clues as far as the ones that are a little bit in, into astrology okay now let's look at the cards the way that I like to do this I'm gonna look at your feminine oh this is interesting <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to do that and interrupt myself but this is how this is a great example for you pile number two it's as if like I have a plan but as I'm like letting my body move through what I think is going to be because I did pile number one a certain way so I expect to do pile number two a certain way but as I let my body move and let my sacred feminine intuitive subconscious energy there's that mediumship there's that guidance that can come through and this is asking me to look at the bottom of the deck the bottom of the deck is the shadow what are we not seeing we are not seeing what is the mask what is the mask of glitters it's almost like something shiny that we didn't realize all that glitter is something something that is hiding there's a mask that you're wearing, pile number two, that doesn't allow you to see. But here I feel it's like all of your worth. All of your worth. And I feel like some of you, maybe if it's like if you've been comparing yourself a lot to others or to their money or to what they have in terms of gold, it's as if the universe is doing this and making you feel the contrast. So you realize, hey, psst, you got all that gold. But it's different. It's different. You got to lift off the veil. The veil of illusion. There is a veil of illusion here that your feminine wants to lift because you are the gold. That's so interesting. I love this because I am going to be releasing... A new album you guys for uh, frequency healing so when I'll be releasing that it should be also available or in the process of being available um, this is called the auric health and wealth your auric health and wealth and this is all about being able to transcend a lot of those complex shadow work energy work through frequencies because mantras this is what I use this is what has expanded me that sacred geometry of nature has allowed me to tap into that sacred geometry of the music because that's what I studied you know and went to college for did not expect I would become <laughs> this expression of it uh, but you know uh, surprise <laughs> uh, you know it just feels very funny as I'm channeling this my birthday is coming so um, it feels like some of you, there's a celebration that's coming, you know, through this process. Um, so to trust, I, did I, did I even, okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to, but I don't remember if I shuffled, but I trust what my hands are doing. <laughs> All right, let's pull the cards first. Mending in reverse. Okay. Uh ending in reverse so that's that way for you up treasure island in reverse all right and loyal heart in reverse what do what do we have here a lot of reversal uh, well you know it's usually when there's a lot of reversal the one that are upright are calling the attention for the work so it all starts by this so while we're going to top into this energy we're going to be able to shift this it, those reversals by the book in reverse okay jeez <laughs> regeneration in reverse okay so this is maybe why there was like this this new change as far as how i was going to channel this for you because it is are things yeah things are in i can't i can't see <laughs> well they're in reverse. I'm not sure what you're seeing. I think you're seeing everything different. Wow. See the confusion? The confusion? Yeah, it's now I see it. It's, it's, it's very interesting, you guys. So it's almost like 
Okay, you see how like I had to try something to see if it was correct, but I had to go the opposite in order to know the difference. So that's something here that the universe wants you to know. For some of you, if it's been a long road, if your soul currently has been feeling tired, okay, um, that you needed to experience the contrast to know fully your worth, your gold, okay? This is why you couldn't see, you couldn't mend parts of yourself until you experience almost like the polarity. You see she's up, she's down. You needed to, to, to almost like experience being wrong to be right, but not wrong in who you are, but experience something that's wrong for you in order to feel how easily you'll know, just like nature. That's for me. Like almost like if you hesitate to like, uh, for food, like the taste of it, like do I like this or do, or do I not? It's like, it's going to become so more obvious, but here we're, really diving into something like more contrasted or deeper to understand it could be in relationships i feel this is in relationships because this is the chemistry so this is this is the heart this is the chemistry between the balance the coherence between the mind and the heart you have here the coherence and you see there was no coherence because we needed all to start with comparing weighing so we could feel inside, and hey, that doesn't feel by the book. It's like, whose book? Your book, not anyone else's. You have to, you had to detach from almost like the book of society, everyone's book, the book of those past lives. You had to, in order to do this, you also had to tap into the shadows of every one part of this book. Some of you, you had to experience the contrast and the negativity, the toxicity of your what you inherited from your parents, your grandparents, or, or even just a pattern. Maybe some of you, it's like with that relationship and that relationship and that relationship, okay? So you would understand a greater, how to treasure more. Who? You. Treasure more of your gold within. You. Not others. Not following in line or falling in line. There's a regeneration here, but you probably felt like very depleted. Some of you, you went really on the opposite spectrum. Some of you manifested poor health. Definitely. Diseases, accidents, near deaths, you know, something almost like, you, this is all speaking of nature. It's like you experience something that is so far off your true nature. So then as a boomerang effect, you'll be able to recognize such great rewards by feeling truly when your heart is in coherence with your mind, there's going to be this natural flow. You know, if you've been struggling before with the balance of like work and play, or just joy, pleasure, enjoyment, relationships, there's definitely something that's going to shift tremendously for you, pile number two. But we're going to want to start with this. So again, some of you, you know, this is what I give you as my additional support. Okay. So you can continue the work because hearing those messages are great, but they're an invitation. They're an invitation to go within deeper. And my music is, you know, was my solution. I trust this is going to support others because sound is just so powerful. Sound, I mean, some of you, you know, it's like in the sound, in the voice of someone, you can fall, you can feel safe, you can feel comfortable, you can feel fear. It is a resonance. You know, and those resonance, they also create attraction. And a lot of us, we have to make sure that because we were inclined to, especially as empath, 
inclined to rush over the ones that are holding too much negativity and vibrate like in ways that we can't stand and we feel like we have to fix or help, then we have to realize that's not our responsibility anymore. Our responsibility is to hold that light and stop comparing uh, that vibrational gap and trying to feel that we need to be that bridge. Because you need to be met halfway and you'd be able to recognize this very fast. Let's see what we have here with this intuitive night goddess tarot. Okay, so let me see. I have pile number one. I expected one, one, <laughs> one card, two came through, so <laughs> I'm just not expecting. All right, we got two. <laughs> just all right, whatever. If it looks weird to people and I feel like I'm not knowing what I'm doing, this is how it's supposed to be because ultimately it has to feel right. And until you do it and you start taking the steps, you're not going to know if it's right in alignment for what is meant for you. Okay. So let's see here what we have. We have the potential that it's in reverse. So some of you, it's been stalling your potential. Okay. That's been, uh, yeah, something that we want to address. We're going to read this and this is your next guidance. Oh, wow. This is freaking amazing. The sun in the upright. So this is what awaits you. Pile number two. Okay, let's let's read this. Those are two major arcanas. Pile number two, you have some really deep potential for the ones that shows that pile. Wow, wow, wow. Like, like wowzer. <laughs> wowzer. Okay, potential. Okay. So, our first goddess walks towards the edge of a cliff, seemingly unaware that the earth before her is about to drop. Oops, sorry. <laughs> She is focused on the flowers, the butterfly, and the sun as she holds a bundle behind her back. Her companion, a wild cat, gazes ahead, acting as a guide along the way. This is the beginning of a great journey and one without expectation. Hope, folly, innocence, and risk may all be at play. This is an exciting time to move forward towards a calling a project, or a relationship. Now is the time to take a leap and not be concerned about where you land instead of worrying about falling. Think about flying. You have everything that you need with you. Abundance will provide. You have the support of the universe with you. All possibility awaits. This is interesting because as I was saying, the word flying, okay, the first pile had the cards flat, like the first card flew. Okay, so for some of you, you have more guidance in the pile number one. That could be a pattern that is deeply ingrained. Okay, remember past the, the south node. I would suggest looking at this. Okay, if you're especially there's some some of you watching this that you're new on that journey and and realizing this is this is you're on a journey there's no going back <laughs> there's no like uh go back or retrieve re rewind <laughs> no, you feel like you're going back sometimes repeating some of the cycles but it's like once you awakened there's more to awaken to but there's no more going back into slumber you can feel and you can try but it will never be the same it's, it's, it's an experience. I, I don't know. This is so weird, you guys. Maybe you saw it or not. But some of you, if you like cartoons, I would suggest watching Alice in Wonderland. I'm seeing like two different animals with this card. I'm seeing a rabbit here. And I'm seeing an owl. Just with that part. Okay, so for some of you, that's something that I wanted to mention. So there's a potential to open. And here we have the sun. Okay, let me see what she has here. This I really love this little booklet. Um, this person, what's her name? Lindsay Silverman. Um, she has this little story that she shares in this guide book. And um, I really liked how she channeled all, all the tarot through her own eyes and experience. So... 
um, I want to read her words because she has her own version uh, that I find very powerful. Here our goddess stands as radiant as the sun behind her, amongst a lush growth of wild flowers. She holds a plucked bouquet, and before her a snow leopard lurks in protection. Her crown radiates a variety of energies, channeling all of her warmth and charm. Allow yourself to feel the radiance upon you now, that the snow has melted and spring is here. You can grow as tall and strong as the sunflowers of our na natural world. You can learn from what it took you to arrive at this moment. Tune into your sun energy right now, your radiance, your essence, and your ego, the thing you strive for and the characteristics you identify with are in focus. People want to see you succeed and help you manifest your energy. Don't dampen your light for anyone. Believe in your power to build your own universe and it will come into being. Shine bright. Wow. Pile number two. This felt amazing. Okay, so please remember in the description of those videos, I put, you know, some information if you want as far as support, uh, whether it's personal or collective, free here on YouTube. Uh, you have a lot of little details if you need support at this time. Please, if it resonated, don't forget to like, share a comment, share it to your friends, subscribe. Thank you so very much, pile number two. This was exciting. <laughs> Namaste. Hi, pile number three. Let's look at your dragon first. So we have a royal blue and gold dragon. Very royal, very much, you know, this energy of empowerment that is shining through. What do we have here? It says strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. Okay, so as a self-love guidance, this is what we're starting for you, pile number three. We also have this raw citrine. Um, you know, this is really good as far as a stone. If you're, you're exposed to external energies that are, uh, you know, negative or that, that, that can be just hard for you to handle on a daily basis, that can be um, something that you want to consider. It's um, also a stone that brings confidence and clears your mind and helps you pursue your goals. Okay, I feel some of you, maybe if you have a hard time pursuing your goals, that can be something that supports you. Pile number three. Let's see what Kali, Kali Ma wants to share with you. There's some duality here that we're, you know, it feels like merge. We're just merging and transcending and just shining through a different expression. Let's read this card. It says, Dharma of Kali. Your most abundant successes manifest when you are aligned with your integrity. You do not need to put your faith in pathways or projects that do not resonate with your deeper spiritual knowing. Everything that is happening in your life is part of how your prayers are being answered. A new order is to be established. You are being led into it. Sorry, you guys, I had to be interrupted. And I feel it was part of the divine plan for you, pile number three. There's something that we mentioned as far as focus, okay? And it seems that you have to in order to continue giving yourself this love and care and follow through with whatever you aspire to manifest, you have to be able to tackle those moments where you'll be inevitably interrupted, where, you know, life happens, but there's something about what we're going to see and channel for you as far as how to... Um, I would say almost like juggle with more ease, with more grace, life, you know, the inevitable life matters and things happening. Uh, there's something here as far as that process. First, I want to look at maybe a guidance from 
uh, the astrology in your chart for some of you, okay? Uh, some of you, you are part of the subscription for astrology, either on YouTube or um, on Instagram. So that's something that we learn together, uh, looking at our charts and some energies. We have 12th house energy. There's something subconscious that may be creating the situation where you feel sometimes not in your greatest light you know like it talks about majestic you know majestic this royal energy feeling that your power but with wisdom there's something locked there and i'm hearing lock there's just a lock okay we have pluto energy this is old this is something maybe so you may want to look at your 12th house your pluto placement there's something here as far as maybe uh you know your inner transformation maybe very extreme uh situations maybe you've had a very hard path uh, experience a lot of death around you or yourself accidents you know things that were drastic and may have something that is wanting to come forward for you through this experience those type of experiences we also have taurus energy taurus is also second house second house is very much linked to your value your worth okay so maybe you have some taurus or second house energy in your chart but it is all about worth this is definitely and it's it's there's something as far as your integrity that that may sway you as if there's just like the interruption it's as if there there's a lack of stability in your own worth that could have been part of this outcome okay that made you maybe at this time look for guidance for self-love okay how to care for yourself in greater ways okay there's an interruption of flow um there is you know a hard time to be like maybe some of you it's like you know people just see the nice side of you and they, there's a there's a difficulty to show the fierce part okay a difficulty to to show your duality um because there might be some negative conditionings around this definitely here for some of you listen to the super empath frequency playlist there's a lot of deconditioning of negativity in that playlist all right let's see what we have we're gonna pull all the cards first we have the tribe in reverse mm, it's interesting just feels like maybe some of you you haven't been really attracting people that resonate with you let's pull first all of this yeah to be fair in the reverse as well TikTok in the upright. Mm, it's time for change. We'll see all about. So this is interesting. This is my heart line, my mind mind, and this is the balance. This is the scales. You know, this is the scales of justice here with the heart and the brain. Let's see what we have. Come to the edge on the upright. Conflict and chaos. Chaos and conflict, actually. But I don't know why I had to reverse that. <laughs> we'll figure it out together. Regeneration in reverse. Interesting. Pile number two had that. And some of you, maybe that's a sign also. Um, if you hesitated between two piles, that could be another message that is hiding there. Okay. So, interestingly, we only have those cards upright okay this is more of what we see as far as a mirror and here i feel like i want to say this is almost like here your good side okay the facade okay maybe what you don't you know and this is more what you're not sharing with others the subconscious the mirror effect and here we have an activation come to the edge uh as if as if there's this this dark feminine energy but not in dark evil i'm talking about the hidden parts of yourself that holds a lot of 
sacred knowledge, and especially in terms of what's for you and what's not for you, is wanting to roar. It's time. Oh, I got chills everywhere on my right side. Tick tock. It's time to activate the fierce aspect of yourself so you can finally attract your tribe. Some of you, you may have felt alone, lonely, rejected, weird, outcasted for a very long time. Even if you belong to groups, it's just like this feeling of awkwardness that I'm feeling from this card that could have come. And it's as if some of you, it's just like it was never your tribe. It was never your personality. It was never your vibe. Um, but there's something here in the subconscious, you know, that uh, you may have believed about yourself. And there's a very strong transformation that's happening in terms of your self worth here, uh, pile number three. This is definitely going to happen if you tap into your shadows and i would say for you okay i'm still going to keep this reverse because i feel this is going to happen last it feels like the order is here for first you have to regenerate you have to regenerate and to be regenerate yourself you know you have to be fair with yourself and that means you're going to, there's some cut cord cutting cords with people situation events feeling like uh, if people or see well, the energy from people make you feel you have to you should you should have have done this and if and people sometimes express it bluntly okay and this is remember i say it to you this is like the part of you that's been playing nice and you playing nice has not been fair to you but i'm not saying nice that you have to be mean but more like fierce and being able to have boundaries because it has attracted people that repeat again and again those feelings that you're trying to work through and this is a time right now where you're being activated i've been doing those cali uh readings personal readings that have been really powerful and strong um because it's happening, we have a conjunction with Venus. Venus is the planet that teaches us about manifestation for our desire and intention. This is why I did this special, because if you're struggling with manifestation, Kali is going to be taking care of this matter. <laughs> it's like, okay, let me show you um, how you should be feeling, thinking, behaving for yourself so you can feel empowered. So you can really feel that power um, as far as um, becoming. Now, let's move on to the regeneration. Take some time. Take some time for personal growth, for working through certain matters, because there's definitely inner conflict. And I feel for you, it's very interesting. I'm telling you, this is coming last. It's almost like you have to work on the dark aspect of yourself the mirror, the one that, the face of yourself that people don't see. If people say like, oh, this person always like this, and like, oh, she's like, like. There's, this, there's a version of you that is more fierce, that has more knowledge about your true self, that wants to show you how much you've attracted more chaos and conflict from ignoring those aspects of yourself now i channel those you know pick a card oracle and everything um and then i also create reels so that reel that i associate with this is very much about <clears throat> stopping that self you know um negative talk and saying goodbye to certain of uh, the conditioning that you've been going through that have been some of you to the limit of like manifesting disease you know autoimmune disease things that are going against yourself it's almost like you're playing nice but you're the one paying for everyone else there's just a very strong energy of imbalance for you pile number three and this is coming from your association 
your association of thoughts also by yourself through those situations to some of you it's time to see how much you've been able to stay kind or still in your heart in the face of darkness um, definitely go check out the wounded healer playlist to re rebalance those karmic scales with your chiron wound again all my music frequencies are meant to support those energy readings okay because we listen to guidance but then what do we do with it okay it needs to be followed it's a call for action i know personally i love uh watching pick a card readings when i feel it i'm like stuck and there's something that i can't see beyond and i trust that process i trust that process and then I just hear a message, but that's a message I needed to bridge the gap from where I was to where I was supposed to be. It was not just to stay in, on the bridge. <laughs> you're, not, you're not staying there in the middle. You're, you're moving towards that, that destiny because some of you, this is something that is dear to you to feel loved, accepted, to feel nurtured, to feel maybe some of you, you, you're working on reparenting yourself. You know, feeling that, that deep connection, that deep connection um, that allows you to feel love, to feel acceptance, to feel compassion in ways that before I feel you were just the only one really giving that. And maybe <laughs> feeling that it was equal, but it was always... It was never equal because you had to have that within you, that side of you that, you know, could get upset, could speak up, could also decide to just cut off, you know, situations and just silent, just say it's over. You're not listening. You're not listening. I've been trying to tell you. And some people that will tell you, a lot of people that, say, you know, oh, you disappeared or something like this, you ghosted. It's a lot of people, they just don't listen. They think it's a radical action from you, but they haven't been paying attention to what you were saying before because you were saying it maybe too nicely. But maybe that's your personality. But there's a way maybe to say things and also um, show both sides of you. Okay, and that maybe is an art, a skill that you're going to develop here. Pile number three. Let's see what we have as far as guidance from the Intuitive Knight, Goddess Tarot. I really like this deck and reading the book for it because this person, her name is Lindsay Silverman. She has her own interpretation that I really enjoy how she created this. Um, all right, let's see what we have now and what we have as a result later on. What we have right now, hmm, we have the energy of the sun. So this reading is helping us really tap into your potential. This is interesting because that was that was the reading, uh, the card, one of the cards for uh, pile number two. So some of you, if you were hesitant, again, that could be something that there is in that pile. And then we have the seven of swords. Okay, usually in the regular tarot, this is a card that, you know, you're able to discern uh, lies. You're able to dis have discernment on things that are untrue. So let's see here. There's just an act. It feels like you're being activated, pile number three. You're being activated, almost initiated by the dark goddesses. Okay, so some of you might be Kali, you know, it might be the Morrigan. It might be Ekate. Uh, some of you have just... Oof, I, ooh, I get chills on for this. <laughs> some of you, you just have to research some of the dark goddesses um, and see uh, which one you're called to work with. But there's definitely a need here to, um, to tap into your dark side, you know, as far as the awakening of something that has been dormant, I'm hearing. So for the sun card, it says, Here are goddesses stands as a radiant as radiant as the sun behind her amongst a lush growth of wild flowers she holds a plucked bouquet and before her a snow leopard lurks in protection 
Her crown radiates a variety of energies, channeling all of her warmth and her charm. Allow yourself to feel the radiance upon you now, that the snow has melted and spring is here. There's a rebirth. You're going through a rebirth, definitely, pile number three. You can grow as tall and strong as the sunflowers of our natural world now. You can learn from what it took you to arrive at this moment. <clears throat> Definitely some throat still. You have to like you, you have to be able to speak highly of yourself. Pile number three. Tune into your sun energy right now, your radiance, your essence, and your ego. The thing you strive for and the characteristics you identify with are in focus. People want to see you succeed and help you manifest your energy. Don't dampen your light for anyone. Believe in your power to build your own universe and it will come into being. Shine bright. All right, let's see this guidance for what's to come. Seven of Swords. You know, I feel like you're going to be able to discern. Ooh, I just, I just realized that how it was on the tribe. I told you this is coming last. I can feel it. It's almost like your heart is asking you go to the edge, live on the edge, go and feel the things you didn't want to see or feel about yourself. Maybe being very upset, mad, enraged about certain situations. Okay, so. Our night goddess returns from battle, victorious and abundant. She is on the other side of those harsh plains perceived in the Six of Swords, showing off the bounty of what she conquered. Yes, all this untruth. The journey was difficult as she emerges here in a barren landscape, but she survived. Her smile indicates that she is proud of her earned sufficiency. Be your own hero. This card reminds us that with action comes reward and the risks are often worth it. Stake your claim. Wow, pile number three. <laughs> this feels like a really good ending of this energy. Your self-love guidance, I love it. Remember in the description of all these videos, you have a lot of material that's available for you. You know, some links to my Telegram has access to certain videos that help you. Go and check it out. And please don't forget, if you like this video, give me a like, a comment, you know, something that says hi, subscribe. And yes, if you need personal support, I also offer this. Thank you so very much. Namaste.